Hi everybody, it's Kim again, and welcome back to my channel, Bookmarks and Breadsticks. If you're new to my channel, a special hello, and those who are returning, welcome back. It's almost the end of October, and I thought I would bring you what my book haul is. If you've seen previous videos, including my September and August hauls, I do have a rule now that for every book I read the month before, that's the total quantity of books I can buy this month. So in the month of September, I read 10 books in total I can count. And this month, I was supposed to only buy 10 books. I did buy seven books during my, one, two, three, four, seven books for my birthday book haul, which I'll link that in the cards. And then I did hit my quota, I did fill it in. So I wanted to show you guys the other books I purchased. So first book I purchased is actually My Soul Looks Back. So My Soul Looks Back, I actually read this month as an audiobook. This is by Jessica B. Harris, and she is one of the contemporary writers of African American cuisine and African American history. She has a PhD. I read this as an audiobook and wanted to have a copy of my own because what I didn't realize is one of the books on my November, my nonfiction November TBR is actually by Harris. I didn't realize that and I really wanted to complete her collection. Another book I got this month is Julia and Julia. I actually do, again, I have this as an audiobook. So it's, I'm not counting these two books as books on my physical shelves. It's, I really wanted to have hard copies of these two books and I will also be buddy reading this one with Catherine Z next month. Third one I picked up at Open Books. This is called Bento Box in the Heartland. My Japanese Girlhood in White Bread America, a food memoir by Lindia, wow, I can read, Linda Fioria. I probably pronounced that wrong. Apologies, Miss Linda. So I have this book. Another book that's actually, so I should pause. The first two books I just went through, Julia and Julia and My Soul Looks Back. Those are audiobooks that I then bought as physical copies these books, including Bento Box in the Heartland, are books that I would physically be adding to a TBR, my ongoing collection of 70-something books I'm trying to finish. So we've gotten through three. The fourth is The Land Where Lemons Grow, the story of Italy and its citrus fruit. So this is definitely food history. I'm excited to learn more about it. It's actually not that long. It's only about 200 pages, um, putting aside the appendix. So it should be a really quick read. The third, one, two, three, four, so technically the, the fifth book, but the third that's going on my TBR is Mr. Penumbra, Penumbra's 24-Hour Bookstore by Robin Sloan. I, have, I read a book by Robin Sloan earlier this year um, about sourdough bread, and it was fiction. I've seen this book many times. I just finally wanted to get a hold of it. And then the final book is another one of those book picture books that I got. I don't know what to even call this. Um, my ideal bookshelf. So in this, my ideal bookshelf, the author interviews different people from different walks of the arts and lives, including chefs, writers, and etc. Each person interviewed explains um, a cup. What the prompt of the book is: if a bookshelf could represent you, what titles would be on there? So you can learn from Hugh Atchison, who's a chef, and what books impacted him. You can learn about different authors that it could and their books that had the greatest impact on their lives. I hope that makes sense. It's a super cute book. I'm already finished with it. It's another coffee book read. It reminds me very much of the book I hauled earlier this month from my birthday haul. That's I Will Judge You By Your Bookshelf. So all in all, I actually bought 11 books, to be totally honest. Um, but I did read 11 books. It's just I finished one book after my wrap up. But of those 11 books I bought, one, two, three are not going on my TBR. So the two bookshelf comic books are not going on my TBR and My Soul Looks Back is not going on my TBR because I read it. So I'm not trying to cheat the system and say I won. It's just the point of scaling back purchasing books is so they don't take up more on the shelf. Technically, I bought hardcover books of, technically I bought duplicate copies of books that I've or that like I already paid for because they're audiobooks. I'm not really sure. Technically, I guess, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so I went over by one, 
but I'm stopping. I'm making this video to keep myself accountable. I hope that all makes sense. This is actually gonna be probably a really short video, but that's okay. And I will put it up soon so that the public knows I'm held even further accountable. But that's everything. That's this quick little book haul. I hope I made sense. I'm currently waiting for pieces of a model I'm building to dry. It's been one of those days. Um, let me know in the comments below. Blue? Blue? Let me know in the comments below, do any of these books look interesting? Have you read uh, Mr. P's 24 Hour Bookstore? I know this is a pretty popular New York Times bestseller. Would you be interested in the story of Italy and its citrus or a memoir about Japanese girlhood and white bread America? Let me know in the comments below. Wear a mask. I hope you're well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.